Yeah, I haven't been behind the camera in a minute. But that's what we got going today on the feet. Yo, what's happening? Uh, month of September was a good month. I had uploads every week. Progress on the fire body. But I decided we're gonna, we're gonna mod up the ST today. Hopefully I could try to figure out this gap right here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But the main thing today is this right here. It is a um, sound supposer delete. I went with the... Um, the Stita instead of the cob because the cob doesn't come with this block off piece to the firewall where the hose runs to the back um but right now what I'm about to do I'm about to pop open the hood and check the uh, the boost solenoid to see if we um if we're gonna be doing the uh, running a vacuum line to it or if we're just gonna be blocking it off and uh, saving the vacuum piece for when I, if I put an external blower valve, I do still want to do that, so we'll just be saving that. And then also, look at this shit. This was like ten bucks. If you want the link to this, I'll go ahead and show you. But look at that shit. It's not real. This isn't like some shit you could pick up at the DMV. Like it's not legal. It's, but it's just funny though. And um, I don't know where I want to put it in terms of the car. Like. I don't know if I want to put it on this back window. Hey, that's me. Like, I don't know if I want to put it back here or the front windshield. But part of me wants to put it here, though. And I want to put it straight. I don't want to put it running with the line of the uh, the lining. I would want to put it straight just because. I don't know. Thinking about it, but we definitely think I'm going to find some time to put this shit on there today. But first things first haven't driven this car in like three weeks i don't be driving this car that much so that's the boost solenoid right there so let me go so this is the uh the boost solenoid and shit just like i figured i think so the sound supposer is right here so I am trying to see so that line is there what I'm trying to see if there's any other vacuum lines being ran off of here at all um that's the another part of it right there uh, if anything i might just remove this piece off just so i can access it better but because i know it's teed off right here because that could be for the um my boost gauge the am boost gauge oh shit so looks like i'm gonna need to figure out and then that black off plate i think goes back there onto this i think or something but Oh shit. Alright, so that means all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply um we're not gonna do the boost line reference. So I get to save a couple dollars today because I don't need to run down to uh O'Reilly's and uh we'll get a vacuum on. But in terms of having this shit be upright. And it's gonna be a real cold start because it's now officially 56 degree weather in Connecticut.
after him for the uh, investigation, I was right. Um, gotta pop this shit off, end up capping it, and then the um, vacuum line from this shit is gonna get ran to this little um, plastic uh, hose right there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm just gonna run down to uh, O'Reilly's and uh, uh, I'll give me a pretty lengthy line of vacuum hose and then if anything I just cut the shit that I don't need um, Damn because I had a feeling I was gonna need to do that, but I just had to double check the YouTube real quick. So I'm gonna Let the car keep warming up pack the shit up and then uh Go and take my ass to fucking O'Reilly's man. Damn I mentioned that I don't ever drive my car no more like that. You know why? It's because every time I gotta, cause I got a sub set up in here and I be bumping my shit. Cause every time I be bumping my shit, my shit decides to fucking cut off. So I don't know if I need a new battery. I probably need a new battery. Most likely need a new battery. It's a 2018 car with a factory battery. So it's like, I don't got time for that shit, man. I want to bump my music like I'm, I'm I'm trying to be cheap with this shit. I know I'm gonna need to get a new battery soon But that's like another reason why I don't really drive this car because I be bumping my music and this shit decides to just like cut off and then cut back on real quick while I'm driving so Oh man, but uh, we did get the uh, vacuum hose though nice little two dollars two foot so I'll be back My car must have heard me talking shit on the way back home because um as soon as I cut the car off, all the power is gone. So it's like a problem that I have. And where? Like, I think this is like loose and shit. But, hey, 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 hey. So I should be good to go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got power again. Yo, man, modifying your car is all fun and shit until shit like this happens. But we're all set up. Um, I'm about to get it down. So yeah, all I'm gonna simply do, I'm just gonna remove um, this piece of the uh, the air filter off because it's just so that I could get in there a lot easier and not have to struggle and all the types of shit. So yeah. piece though I'll give you that I like the build quality I like it I really do all right so the piece the uh, the sound supposer is off the intake manifold so there is three um, eight um, millimeter bolts um, there's two right here that go into the manifold and there's one right here that sits right beside it you can hit this bottom one and this one right here with a simple little ratchet and the small socket not the deep socket but for this one right here this one was a little tight and a bit of pain in the ass so I had to go and grab a nice little small wrench but I'm gonna reuse these two same bolts to bolt up that because I assume that's why they didn't include the bolts because you're just gonna reuse the old hardware which is uh, fine by me not a big deal so all I'm gonna do is is now make sure I could uh, remove the rest of it because it's a whole lot of shit this sounds composer so make sure I go ahead and remove everything else completely before block up the firewall and we start uh, putting everything together and we start removing and capping shit so yeah so there it is so that's the hose that leads into the firewall so it goes from there to the firewall that connects from there that hose connects to there and then that's the one that goes from the intake manifold so it just goes shoot 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 
um so yeah now we got all this space and uh this plug did come off the um the uh sound supposed to the back piece over here so all i'm gonna do is um probably most likely uh tape up the connection um and uh zip tie it somewhere to something but um what i need to do is oh i found it i think i'm gonna try to zoom in to, to try to show y'all there is the hole come on there it is right there you see it you see the hole right there it's like right there it's it's right damn my camera angle suck right now it's right in there there's a hole so wait zoom out damn it i wish the zoom in zoom out was a little quicker but um yep so now all i'm gonna simply do is plug up that hole wrap up and zip tie that wire then i'm gonna install probably gonna add some uh blue loctite just in case to the um the nice new billet piece make sure i put the old ring in it and then we're gonna be good to go so here we are the connection to the sound supporter taped up zipped away off to the side i put a uh, thread sealant on the um the the boost the the boost port or the vacuum port uh then end up putting blue lock tie i just said ah fuck it got a zip tie a zip tie a zip tie a zip tie and then i kept the old clamp ran it up pretty good in there uh we got we capped off the old port put a nice little small vacuum port the uh firewall blocker is blocked off and that's it that's all she wrote so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna obviously put the uh the air filter back on i'm gonna start her up and uh, clean up and uh see how it sounds all right back together so now i'm about to fire up and see if i'm I'll let y'all tell me if you hear a difference see if i can try to set this up somewhere Except this up will be so difficult. Let's see. I heard the difference I don't know about y'all but I definitely heard the difference so I think we good Whew. so yeah and I ended up a nice little cut blood sweat and tears baby so yeah that cost me about I think $50 40 no nah, like 40 well yeah $50 after shipping and tax but that is like like 30 to 40 dollars uh, the Stita um, install took me, I'd probably say, maybe 30 minutes. I was probably took me a little longer because I was making sure I was being really careful and making sure everything was done right. Things are getting done right. Um, then I actually ended up finding out that my uh, third coil pack was like fucking loose and shit. So hopefully the car actually rides nice now because I was noticing it was kind of having like a stutter, stutter, sputter problem. Stutter, sputter. But yeah, there we go. So that's been something I've been wanting to do for, like I about to say, like a year or two now. And uh, I'm kind of glad I got it done. Um, I did hear a noise when I, uh, 
fucking turned the car off. So off camera, I'm obviously about to investigate some shit, but I realize I'm like, what type of person would I be if I didn't take y'all on a on a test drive of this shit to see how it works, see how it sounds while driving? Like, what type of person would I be? Now, I don't think it's supposed to add any type of like power or anything. Like, it's not like, but it's just it's it's just more of a bet like a noise. It's just you know they call it a true uh, a true boost vacuum source um you know that goes up to the boost solenoid and shit so i say it definitely works like you hear like the majority difference like when you know you're reversing um when you're obviously revving it at idle and then you know on the on the like the low end of it like the low rpms that's when you could really hear it and we're gonna go this way um but other than that i don't really think it does much like other than that so see like right now So like it's like a real good whistle right now when it builds up. So it has like that really good whistle that builds up, and as soon as you like let go of the gas or go harder, it disappears. But it see it's a lot, it's a lot better of a sound. It's a lot smoother than with the uh, the stock sound composer. So is it a worthy modification? Is it a worthy install? Yeah. I say it is if you like the sound and shit and it does clear up the engine bay a little bit it does make it look like a little bigger and shit um not all cluttered you know I like to get I like to get rid of stuff that doesn't really need to be there like if you could delete it get rid of it and it's not gonna negatively affect your driving experience and the car's performance and all that then get rid of it so but I definitely say yeah this this was dope this was definitely worth the money it was worth the install um and if you have you know rs st just go ahead and do it don't even don't even hesitate it but go with the cob i mean go with the steeda not the cob because the cob doesn't have a um i think it does have the the vacuum port but it doesn't come with the block off plate to the fire uh the back of the firewall um i say that uh, i read the comments and uh people really uh that makes a big difference apparently when they bought the cop so definitely get the steeda um i got a cj's pony parts uh if anything i'll just leave links all links and stuff to everything in the description of the video but um yeah i figure i'm like man why am i signing off i haven't even took you on a test drive yet so but i like it it's dope now i'm about to go on about my day this <laughs> this this was pretty good for my morning but now i'm about to move on to other stuff so i catch y'all on the next one Good luck.